now. <laughs> he really does. I don't pitch to him anymore. He'll hurt me. <laughs> How about those beans? Serves it to right. Here's the throw home. It's not in time. Newstrom scores, and LaDuca holds it second. And Newstrom beginning to mix it up a little bit with Joe Wallace. And the dugouts begin to empty. Gore now really getting involved, and it's about to get ugly. A nasty situation ensues. Lopez. That's Noah Perry that got involved, was one of the fastest to get out there. He's a relief pitcher. But as Newstrom came in, he was just going to barrel right through Joe Wallace. Wallace didn't like it. And you wonder why Wallace would spend so much time jawing with LaDuca still out at second base. I mean, conceivably, he could have rounded second and gone all the way to third. Well, what happened was the throw to the plate looked like there was going to be a collision at the plate. And Newstrom, the ball hit him. The ball hits Newstrom as he crosses the plate. Here's the throw from Jason Heath in right field. It's a strong throw. It looks like there's going to be at the plate at the plate. There's the collision. The ball hits Newstrom. Watch him. The ball hits Newstrom. Now Wallace says, hey, you can't do that. You can't get in my way and let the ball hit him. But actually, it's a great play by Newstrom to shield the catcher. He kind of threw a little elbow, missed him. And now there's a little kiss for you as he comes by. And here's a return match. Now the umpire tries to separate him. But tempers are getting a little heated here in this elimination game. Now Gary Ward comes out along with Jim Brock. The question here may be, are the players still in the game? I'm of the belief that Wallace may have gotten the heave because he undoubtedly gave him that kiss and the retaliatory move is the one that usually goes noticed rather than unnoticed. Well, he was the initiator of the action. Really, Newstrom was just anticipating a play at the plate, and he thought there was going to be a collision. When there wasn't, then he just was shuffling off to the dugout, and then Wallace was the one who gave him a little elbow on the way back. Right now, the umpires are trying to restore a little bit of order here. The coach is saying, hey, boys, get back. Come on, we got a storm coming. Play ball. Sun Devils have the lead 4-2 to two based on Newstrom crossing the plate. Not a lot of conversation between Brock and Ward. If you no, no, take a good look at tempers that. are high right now. Here's Newstrom. You can see he's anticipating a play at the plate. He drags his left foot. It looked like across the plate. And here comes Wallace. Another little check. Looks to, it's starting to turn into a hockey game here. The umpire does a good job of separating those two, but then some other combatants get involved. There's no question that Newstrom had that chicken wing out. But I believe that went unnoticed by Tom Jenkins, the home plate umpire. But he was anticipating a play at the plate. Now, I'm just sticking up for him because he's expecting the catcher, Wallace, to catch the ball, and there's going to be a collision. He knows he's not going to slide, otherwise he's going to be out. So he's anticipating that, and so his elbow and his shoulder are ready to go into that block position. And you see he is a little bruised and battered after that fray. By the way, Arizona State, Oklahoma State both have outstanding wrestling teams. Just thought I'd pass that along. We're in the top of the sixth. It's four to two, Sun Devils. 